Happy Monday everyone starting out the weekend a little bit cooler compared to what we've seen over the last couple of days today ultimately going to be a lot like yesterday. Some clouds building up over the higher elevations and east of the Cascades as we get into the afternoon and evening bringing some very very slight potential for thunderstorms. Most likely it is going to be a warm sunny clear day today and that means we're avoiding a lot of those chances that we have seen over the last course of the week a week ago we we're getting close to 100 degrees not quite there but still well above what we normally see this time of year, the 90s for some areas that are more used to the 80s as we go closer and closer to the official official start of summer. But it feels like summer and that's because we have high pressure just off of the coast. You can see it clearing things out for a good swath of the Pacific, keeping the showers, the storms, the precipitation off to the north of us. And it's going to continue to do that. And as it does, that it is looking like a mostly sunny week ahead. But some of this cold air does eventually move in out of the north, and that does bring us some potential for colder temperatures as we get in the weekend. When I say colder, I really should say cooler compared to what we've seen over the last week, bringing us back to around what we normally see for this time of year, getting closer and closer to that first day of official summer. Pinpoint forecast going into the afternoon. Some potential cloud cover out off of the coast in Coos County just a bit and then mostly clear just about everywhere else. Not a lot of potential for thunderstorms like what we saw yesterday. Continue into Tuesday 3 p.m. Mostly clear skies once again. Not much potential there at all and then heading into Wednesday. Also mostly clear but the occasional clouds and you know, some fog out on the coast. Fog more likely towards Brookings and Crescent City. Winds have been picking up in the afternoon so we'll have some breezy winds as well especially out on the coast mainly out of the north. And because of those winds coming in out of the north, it's a little breezier and a little bit warmer for Brookings and Harbor, about 67 degrees or 77 degrees compared to the 67 that we have in North Bend about 65 for bandits, so not too bad around typical temperatures to slightly warmer than average for the coast. Some patchy fog and drizzle possible out in some coastal locations, mainly in the morning should be mostly sunny by the afternoon. Today, a lot like yesterday for the West Valleys, 91 for Medford, 90 for Wairika, mostly clear skies and some breezy winds and east of the Cascades temperatures mainly in the 80s, 85 for Klamath Falls, so still above what you normally see this time of year, but not too drastic compared to the 90s we saw last week east of the Cascades. Still holding on to the 90s for the Rogue Valley. Occasionally we warm up and then we cool down. Cooling down quite a bit towards about Thursday and Friday. That actually puts us below average temperatures. But overall, we should be on the sunny side of things. Maybe some clouds in the afternoons from time to time. Klamath Basin also seeing that trend much cooler towards Thursday, Friday, but then warming up slightly closer to what we normally see on Saturday and Sunday. Northern California also trending cooler and then warmer heading into the weekend. Mostly sunny skies, breezy winds from time to time. And out on the coast, temperatures mainly in the 60s for much of the coast, a little warmer in Brookings and Harbor.